Hey everybody, stick around because today we are having fun and saving money. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you have been following this channel for a little while, or if you have scrolled back through some of my older videos, you might have noticed that a couple of years ago, I did a video about saving money by shopping the clearance section at Walmart for prepping and outdoor items. While that video was a lot of fun, I have found something new when it comes to getting your gear at ridiculously low prices. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was really hesitant to do this video. I almost hate to put this out there because I kind of feel like right now I've got a little secret that if I keep it to myself, I can continue to do this. But once the word gets out there, it really could blow up. So, so do I really, do I really want to tell you guys this? I, uh, uh, oh, don't, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Okay, I'm gonna let it out. Bin stores are a great way to get good camping gear at cheap prices. Oh, it's out. So yeah, bin stores are a great source to get some really good camping gear and spend next to nothing. Now, some people are probably sitting out there right now going, what's a bin store? All right, so here's the concept. This is something that's relatively new in the last couple of years, they've started cropping up and now it's starting to spread like wildfire. They're showing up in most major cities and even some suburbs. The idea of the bin store is this. These companies will buy liquidated, overstocked, and Amazon return pallets, and then they will turn around and resell them to the public. But they do it in a very non-traditional way. Basically, everything in the store each day is the same price, no matter what it is. And this is how the routine generally goes. Usually these places are open three to six days a week. Now they will be closed on a certain day every week for restock. And what they will do is they will break open the pallets, they'll bring out these gigantic bins on wheels, and they will just dump the product that's in these pallets into these bins. Then they'll wheel them out on the floor, put them in lines, and then on the first day of shopping of the week, they'll open the doors, and everything in the store is the same price. Usually it's around $7. You heard me right, $7 for whatever's in the bin. Then what will happen is on the next day they will open, and the price will drop to, say, $5 the next day down to $4, then down to $2, and all the way down to the day before stock day, sometimes they'll be as cheap as 50 cents for the things that are in the bin. So these stores advertise on social media and they will put out ads that show high-end electronic devices, things like, let's say, computer monitors, drones, tablets, laptops, mixing boards, you know, things that really are gonna gather people's attention. Here's where the secret comes in for people like you and me. That's what people are going there to shop for. They're going there to find that drone or that laptop that was in the advertisement. They're looking right past the real gold, or at least for me, the real gold. In the process of digging through these bins and looking for these high-end electronics, people are brushing right past some great camping gear. Now, my brother Mike introduced me to this concept, and over the holidays, my wife and I went to visit with him and his wife and my parents up at their home in the Ozarks. When we got there, he said, hey, uh, tomorrow is $3.99 day at the bin store. Do y'all want to go? So we drove into Springfield to go to this bin store. Now, my wife stayed home that day. She wasn't feeling well, but my oldest daughter and I went with my brother, and we went, and it, it was pretty amazing. Uh, we walked into this giant warehouse and it was just rows and rows of these bins and, and it was pretty crowded. These things are getting pretty popular. But as we started walking through, we started pulling these little treasures out of the bins. And so what I want to do today is I kind of want to share my haul with you to show what you can find at these bin stores if you're looking for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling out these items. I'm going to show you. So the first haul was from a bin store in Springfield, Missouri. It was $3.99 day. So everything that I'm gonna show you from this store costs $3.99. Now what I'll also do is I'll post up the Amazon price for the same item and then show you how much money we saved by finding this at the bin store. Now the trick with, with bin stores, you gotta keep in mind, is it's very random. You never know what you're gonna get. Nothing is organized. It's all just muddled up together. So it is a treasure hunt which is half the fun. But I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I found. 
First up is an item that I had on the Dad Budget Adventures Amazon wish list that I post in all of my videos, and I ended up taking it off because I found one at the bin store. It's one of these combination cutting board camp kitchen sinks. Let me open this thing up and show you what it is. Some of you probably already, already have these or know what it is. This is a collapsible cutting board and kitchen sink. It pops open like this to become a bowl. You can put your dishes in there and it has a little stopper in the bottom that allows you to drain it. Now, when it's completely collapsed, of course, you know, it, it, it collapses for the sake of using up less space with your gear. But then when it's like this, you can use this as a cutting board. That was really cool. That was one of the first things that I found when I walked in the door. I saw it just sitting in the bin. I grabbed it. I was like, okay, I'm going to get that. $3.99. So while my oldest daughter was looking through the bin, she found something and she came over and handed it to me. And it was this little thermos bottle, stainless steel thermos bottle. This thing is super cool. You know, it's got a little cup at the top and then the little screw on cap. But one of the coolest features it has is in the lid here is a spoon. It breaks down for quick and easy storage if you want to eat soup or stir coffee or whatever. So these things are great in the event that say you're hiking into a site or you're just going for a quick little day hike and you don't want to bring things to prepare like hot coffee or some hot soup or something. You can just pack it up in this, bring it with you, and then when you get to where you're going, you just pop it open and enjoy what you brought. $3.99. And $3.99, and here's what it costs if you buy it from Amazon. Now, getting into some of the really cool camp gear that I was not expecting to find. I'm not familiar with the brand. Uh, Pop Chose or Pop, yeah, Pop Chose. You know, I'm pronouncing it right. Please correct me. Pop Chose. This is a sleeping pad with a foot pump. It's one of those that down at the bottom of the sleeping pad, it's got this little air pump that allows you to just throw it on the ground, kick that a few times, and it pumps up. So you're not making yourself dizzy blowing into it, or if you're camping in cold weather, you don't want to be using your breath to blow up your sleeping pad anyway because that puts condensation into the, into the pad which makes it harder for it to preserve your body heat. Now, in a little bit, we will go out and throw this thing on the ground, pump it up, and see exactly what we ended up with. You know, one of the things about using something like a bin store is it's a bit of a crapshoot. It could be a returned item that was returned because it was damaged. Now, what I have noticed is if it's a damaged item, they tend to have damaged tags on them. But, you know, we never know. But here's the thing, you know, I've got a sleeping pad. This thing right here, if I'm not mistaken, pumps up a lot thicker than the one that I've got. And yeah, it gives me the chance to choose what I want without having to spend a bunch of extra money. I paid $3.99 for this. Here's what it would have cost if I bought it online. That, that was pretty cool. I was not expecting to find something like that. The next item is what appears to be another sleeping pad. This is from a company called Hoybell. Not familiar with them. One of the things that you're gonna encounter is you're gonna find a lot of brand names that you've probably never heard of. I'm sure some of them are probably Chinese made, but what can you do? So this appears to be a self-inflating sleeping pad. I'm judging that based on the type of nozzle that it's got. It's got a breathing nozzle. This reminds me a lot of the Gear Doctor sleeping pad that I've got, but it looks like it may actually blow up a little bit thicker. We're gonna take it out when we test the other one blow them both up and see what we end up with. So for the Hoybell sleeping pad to either that pad or the closest thing that I can find to it so you can see what it would cost if you bought it online compared to what I paid for it at $3.99. All right, so that's it for the Springfield bin store. Now, in the last few weeks, one has opened in my community. I have been dying to go check it out and I was off last week and went to the store and the day that I showed up was $7 day. It was the first day the products were out. I wanted to be there to see what the fresh line of products was like and what I would find in the store. This right here was really cool. It, it's, uh, it's not a high-end version, but this is something that I've been needing to get. This is from a company called Suhedi or Suhedi, Suhedi, whatever. It's right there. This is one of those compact breakdown camp chairs. Open the bag up. There's the contents. 
And basically you put this chair together and it makes for a nice comfy place to sit. Now you probably, if you've seen my camping videos, you see I've had got a couple of good sized camp chairs, but Mr. Fish and I are planning a trip sometime in the spring where we're gonna be doing a lot of hiking. We're gonna be going from site to site uh, and taking all of our gear with us. And I did not have a compact chair to bring with me and now I do. So this thing's gonna get broken in proper. The next item is something that I found and at first it didn't click with me that this would be camping gear. This is one of those electronic items that I was talking about, but it is perfect for camping. This is from a company called Video Chars and it is a mini digital projector. It's got all of the cords, cables, the instruction book, everything is with it. Never been taken out of the package. And basically this is one of those items, especially if you've got kids, you need something like this. When the kids start getting bored at night, when it starts getting close to bedtime, hook this up to your phone or your tablet, show them a couple of movies, and next thing you know, they'll be knocked out and the grownups can go out and sit by the fire and have an adult beverage. So I paid $7 for this mini projector. Here's what it would cost if I bought it online. All right, so I've got two more items to show you, and I am particularly proud of these things. For the last item for $7 day was this. This was a gamble for me. I have no idea what it is. I have suspicions about what it is, which makes me very excited, but I don't know for sure. One of the rules in the bin store is you're not supposed to open bags or boxes. Uh, they don't like you tearing into this stuff, you know, looking over it and dumping the parts out and all that kind of stuff. So I picked this up. Now I have a, I have a good suspicion of what it is, but I don't know for sure. This is from a company called Gear Top. And from what I was able to find online, Gear Top makes a grand total of like two different kinds of products. They make fishing hats and they make some pretty cool tents. This, I think... It looks like it might be one of their bivy style tents, but I don't know for sure. We will go out in a little bit and we will set this up. We'll determine what it is. I didn't kind of see what I ended up with, but it seems like a pretty cool product. We're gonna find out. And now I'll go back and I'll edit this in, but I paid $7 for this item. Here's what it would have cost had I bought it online. This next item makes me so excited. I, I almost choked when I picked it up. But before I show you what it is, I, I want to tell you about a couple of ways that you can help this channel out. Of course, as always, please take a second, go down and like this video. And then while you're at it, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you can be made aware of every upcoming video that we have coming out. And finally, check out our Amazon wish list down there in the description box. It includes items that we can either take along on our adventures to make for a better time or things that we can review so that you'll know if it's worth getting one. I cannot tell you how much it means just for you to go down there and click that like button and then leave a comment of some kind down below, even if it's just to check in and say, hey, love the channel. This last item, a couple days after I went to my local store my wife told me that she wanted to go she had not had a chance to go to one of these ben stores yet so she wanted to go along and see what she could find we are two days we're on the third day and near the end of the third day of the inventory week so the items that were in the bins were things that had been overlooked for almost three days now and i really wasn't expecting there to be much in it now she got all kinds of really good items but when i saw this item sitting in the bin i figured either it was going to be an empty box or there was going to be something really wrong it was sitting right on top of a pile of stuff, which when I said earlier that people are just going to brush past this kind of stuff, looking for the high-end electronics and whatnot, I wasn't kidding you. This thing was sitting on top of a pile of other stuff, and people had just been walking by it. They didn't know what it was or what it really represents. That's right. This is an Essie knife. This is a very much an in-demand knife for outdoorsmen. Let me open this thing up and show you what I've got. So here we have a very nice outdoor knife with a nice scabbard, nice locking scabbard. It can clip onto your belt. There's the knife, people. I can't believe that this knife was just sitting there in that bin, completely unnoticed. Everybody just walking right by it. The best thing about it is it's got everything with it. It's got the original scabbard. It's got the secondary scabbard. It's got 
stickers that came in the box. It's got everything this knife was supposed to have with it. There is not a flaw on this knife. I'm not sure how it ended up in the bin store, but I'm glad that it did because of all the things that I bought, I don't believe that I paid as much for everything here as this knife costs at retail. Here's the retail price of this knife. That alone was worth going. I was so happy. I, I just, uh, I have been chomping at the bit to do this video while I'm conflicted about sharing this secret with you. I was so excited to share this stuff with you guys. I'm, I'm so pumped about getting that. So that is my haul from the bin stores. Two stores, three total trips to the bin store, and that's everything I ended up with. This is how much I spent at the bin stores. This is how much the products were worth altogether if I bought them online for a total savings of this. Which item was your favorite? Tell me about it in the comments down below. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna pick this one, but you know, everybody's got a shot. So thanks for tagging along on this little adventure. It's been a ton of fun going treasure hunting and then seeing all the good stuff that I got. Hope you enjoyed this video and took something away from it. Get out there to your local bin store, find some goodies, get you some good camping gear, and then tell me what you found. Come back here, drop a comment, tell me what you found at your treasure hunt at your local bin store. And until the next time, prepare for the world that you live in, not the one you wish existed. See you around.